Hey, what's up guys? Just got to AMC in Sioux City, Iowa. I'm going to see a film called um, Skinnamarink. Skinnamarink. Uh, it's getting a lot of buzz on the internet. I haven't seen any previews. All I know is that it's scary. It's supposed to be really scary. So I am here to check this out and let you guys know how it is. All right, since no one is in here right now, here's a sneak peek at the AMC in Sioux City. Um, I really like this movie theater. Uh, it's really nice. And these seats are like electronic controlled or whatever. So you can, they're heated. And um, as you can see, you can put your feet up quite a ways actually, like almost to the point where you're like leaning all the way back, like laying down almost. Um, yeah, and before you even get here, you just log on into the app and pick whichever seat you would like to sit at, which is really nice because then, you know, you can just show up at eight and know exactly where you're sitting um, instead of, you know, like other movie theaters where you might have to go early just to try to get a good seat. Um, it says that there's supposed to be four more other people coming here, but yeah, we'll just see. I'm really excited to see this movie. It's supposed to be like really scary. <laughs> so it just got out of Skinnamarink and that was interesting. I'm going to need to think about this one. So, hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just talk to you guys when I get home, but... Yeah, definitely got to think about this one. So, Skinnamarink. Where do I start? Okay, on Wikipedia it says, Skinnamarink is a 2022 Canadian experimental horror film written and directed by Kyle Edward Ball in his feature directorial debut and just let me read the synopsis for you quick Okay, the synopsis is uh, two children wake up in the middle of the night to find their father missing and all the windows and doors in their home have vanished Okay, so this film to me I'm not exactly sure what to think about this. There won't be any spoilers in this video. So the film work I absolutely loved. Uh, the way it was like shot and filmed. There was just a lot of very interesting angles and a lot of like under exposure and over exposure. It's Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to set this movie up for you guys for when you guys view it for the first time yourselves. I went into it blind like I said earlier and I kind of wished uh, I knew a little bit about it. I knew it was a scary movie to some people and I get what the director is trying to do with a lot of these dark scenes and dark shots. And the whole like anxiety behind it is this movie doesn't tell you much. So you're just kind of, it's like left to your imagination and it's going to work for some people and it's not going to work for a lot of people. Also, you have to be like really patient with this movie. I definitely like that this movie kind of reminded me of like that paranormal activity Blair Witch project kind of feel to it and film style maybe and it's like 2023 right so and they're still like coming out with you know movies like this and I was very happy about that after the movie uh some of us just kind of stood there like uh when when the credits came I actually got my stuff on like my, my coat and stuff on and I just you know said to the guys next to me that I didn't even know I was like thoughts and they were kind of mixed a little bit. Uh, the one guy said that he liked it quite a bit and kind of gave another interesting perspective on like what was happening or what could be happening in that movie. It's just so mysterious, right? And the other guy was pretty much just like me, like um, didn't know exactly what to think. 
So basically I just wanted to try and set this up for you guys, uh, for you to see it. I want you to go see it, uh, but it could wait for maybe, you know, when it comes out on streaming. I, I mean, I'm glad I supported the film, but I know some of you, and I think some of you might not want to invest the time to go see this in a movie theater. But at the same time, I hope when you guys watch it at home, it has your undivided attention. Because I really want to know what you guys think of this movie. To me, I was just like, what the fuck am I watching? I mean, don't get me wrong, there's definitely scenes where I was, you know, I felt like it was very bizarre and creepy I guess but the budget for this film was approximately like 15,000 uh, that's not much you know for a film these days especially so props to the team and studio that put this together so yeah that's all I have to say about that film for now I guess let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think and I'll Talk to you guys later.